you wanted to talk about who is the Tom Brady of the GA. Now, some people don't like NFL. I absolutely love it. I'm not going to go into talk about it. But last night, he was playing for the Buccaneers, who he won the Super Bowl with last year. And he'd spent 20 years with the Patriots. He'd won six Super Bowls with them. This is the first time he went back to play in Foxborough last night. And it was just like such a massive deal made about it. You know that promo that was put out during the week? Uh, Class, like, yeah. Like one of those Adele songs on the other side. You, you know how it goes. It was absolutely brilliant. And you'd just love to see that sort of promo done in GA. Obviously, it's improving all the time. But like Tom Brady on his own, he has the social media team. I mean, we're not at that level in GA. I mean, obviously, GA players are promoting stuff or whatever. But this is a different level. You're like putting in, paying for Adele's music to go in and getting all this footage and just really slick promos. It's at another level. Imagine the sneer and if someone like Joe Canning put together a promo video, if he was coming up against like Davy Fitz, we'll say, who he would have had in college or something like that. The abuse he would be getting. But uh, I absolutely love that. I, I don't watch NFL. Like, not, I, don't really, I don't really have the time probably to watch it, but you do need to invest like an awful lot of time to follow NFL. You know, that, that red zone thing, which I've jumped in, in and out of at different times. Uh, and I do I like it and I love the, the tactics and I love how analysed the game is. It's fa- I find it fascinating. Uh, and Brady going back, Brady's 43, I think, isn't he? I think he's 40, he's 44. 44. So he's go- obviously going back to going back to against his old coach, Bill Belichick, which is just really, really interesting. Then I got thinking, like, who is the Tom Brady, the GA, in the sense of, you know, somebody who just seems to be ageless, never loses their class, is still so revered no matter where they go. And I probably fell back on someone maybe like Tommy Walsh, maybe, who yeah. obviously, you know, nine All-Stars in a row, hurler the year, finished with Kilkenny in 14. I don't, And then, obviously, Tullerone are relegated. And for a club player, I don't think there's ever been, you know, comparable that sort of outpouring of joy for somebody to win in Crow Park as when he did with Tullerone when they won the Intermediate All-Ireland. And he's still flying it. He was brilliant at the weekend by all accounts. Uh, for Tullerone as they booked their place to the Kilkenny quarter final and just kind of a real kind of a revered character is there anybody that stands out to you like that is almost ageless and can just a, a lot of the time it's you, you're they're, they do it at inter-county and some guys maybe step away from their club a year or two later their bodies are maybe just gone there's other guys that are just able to stay going for like 10 15 years with their club which I just think is is fascinating and it's some it's some credit to them that they're able to stay going a lot of those lads yeah, you know, Stephen Cluxon is one that obviously comes to mind in terms of the agelessness and the, the duration of his career because he was going for so long with Dublin. Obviously, he wasn't there this year. But you know who's actually coming to mind? And you're talking about these qualities that everyone loved him. It's actually a career that was cut unbelievably short. Matt Connor, the awfully footballer. Mm-hmm. And like, people still talk about him with such reverence. Tony Keady would be another one. Um, of course, he passed away a couple of years ago, sadly. The thing with Matt Connor is, you watch him play football. Was it 24 when he had to, had yeah. to retire after that accident? Yeah. And you watch him play football back then, and he just looked like a different breed altogether. The class, the grace about him, the athleticism about him. He just looked different gravy back then. So I think that's why he's coming to mind, just that ageless quality of how he played back then, even though it was so short. I think there was, um, I think Pat Nolan of the Mirror actually put it together. They did basically comparable stats between him and David Clifford at that, at that age of the career. And I think they actually merged the two of them together in this really interesting photo. And they were kind of similarly graceful and beautiful on the ball. That would definitely, like Matt's absolutely lo- adored and awfully and adored everywhere else. And he's the one player he would have said, maybe looking back at the 80s, that he'd fit into any generation because he's just kind of pure class. As you were talking there, Tony Brown would have been one that kind of came to mind. Somebody who just like was hurler deer in nineteen ninety eight and just stayed going and going and going until he until he was forty and then stayed playing with Mount Zion even for a few years after that. But it'd be interesting to hear who other people are. Like we had uh, we talked about was a Frank Miles uh, the other day, the the lad that's playing goals for the is it the CIE team or what team? Is it in Dublin seventy in his early seventies? Lee Miles. Lee Miles, sorry, yeah. Lee Miles, yeah, he's in his early seventies. Like there's someone who's uh who definitely has gone another level and has hit, you know, another 29 years on past Tom Brady. But there's there's legends like that in clubs all around the country. Um, Mickey Linden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's still a, he's a master. He was a, Mickey Linden was a master sprint champion, wasn't he? Uh, <laughs> many, many moons after his down career finished. Yeah, I'm going to run through some of the comments here. Red Lad says, won't ever wear a Mead jersey. Looking good, for, uh, good, looking good, lads, for a Monday morning. Well, I had a rough Saturday night. So <laughs> I'm doing well to be all right on a Monday morning. 
Sean O'Sullivan from Waterford could never wear a Kilkenny. Others, I wouldn't mind. You mustn't be too far away from the border there. Dahi would never be caught dead in a Kilkenny jersey as a Wexican. Uh, Declan Martin says, only the potties call Galway the Matties. So we're the potties, are we? Jeez, I must, I must have missed that one somewhere along the line. Silver Surfer would never, would never wear another Ulster County jersey other than my own. He's in Antrim there. And then uh, Trom Spieler. Tommy is a media man now, lads. He's class, but I think media hyped the life out of him because he's in a press box, which he now amazing player, to be fair, but there are plenty of others. Uh, no, Tommy Walsh is absolute gent. I mean, great, uh, great company. Run into him in the press box, surely, but that doesn't mean that uh, my opinion has changed or, or coloured because of that. Ollie Canning with Port Humnus is says MLA. Yeah. Stayed one of the best club players in not only Galway, but Ireland. Owen Kelly's still doing the business too, pure class. Like he's he, Mullinahone topped their group. We'll talk about him later in the week going into the knockout stage of Tipperary, but he's still knocking over the freeze. And I don't know if you've seen it. Mullinahone have this ridiculous uh, away jersey at the moment. It's black, it's red, and then it's kind of just like green electricity all through the, the jersey. It's nuts. You just it's a weird kind of like it's kind of like a camouflage effect or something weird going on in it. It's it's really interesting. But Kelly's a really good one because obviously he had a class Tipperary career. But when he stepped away from, from Tipperary the guts of a decade ago with the back issues that he had, like you would not have thought that he'd still be playing outfield for his club. He'd to step back into goals, didn't he with Mon Horn for a while as he was dealing with back injuries. And then he scorned, he get five or six from play the other day as Mullen Horn, I think, topped their group and, and are true to the quarter. Like, that's phenomenal to be still doing that, you know, considering all the injuries and different kind of ailments that he'd had down through the years. Yeah, I'd lo I love people got in their comments. Who is the sort of, who is the ageless? Who is the, the, the Tom Brady of your club or county? If you enjoyed this piece of content, please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the page, which helps the channel grow. And if you want audio podcasts, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.